What is going on guys? So this is the 2019 iPad Air 3. It came out last year, even though it sounds a little bit weird to say. I just want to make a video just to see if this guy can edit and run 4K footage. So the point of this video is just to kind of show you guys how to import your video into iMovie or onto the iPad. And then also I just want to do a little bit of editing, like really, really rough editing, just to show you guys that this can actually handle it. So the footage is from the Sony a7 III and I'm gonna import it into the iPad. Before I get into the video, I just want to remind you guys to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. It'll really, really help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate if you could just go ahead and subscribe. I make a lot of content that's focused on, you know, Apple devices and also Android devices, tech stuff, computers, all that stuff. So if you're into that stuff, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Now getting right into it, you will not be able to add or import your footage unless you have this guy. Now this is an SD card to lightning adapter. Uh, I bought this for 15 bucks on Amazon. I know that Apple has a version that costs around $30. I think it's 20 US dollars, but this is worth it if you're a photographer or just somebody that needs to get files from an SD card over to your iPad or iPhone or any of those devices with iOS 13, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug this right in and put in the SD card. The footage that I'm going to edit is strictly out of this guy. I'm pointing at my camera, it's a Sony a7 III and I'm gonna be using that footage that I'm actually filming right now. I'm gonna import it into iMovie to show you guys how to do that. And I'm gonna do a little fake edit to see if this guy can actually handle it. So let's get right into the video. Basically what you gotta do is you take the SD card and obviously you gotta enter it into the slot here like so and then you're going to take this and put it into the lightning reader the next thing that you have to do is you're going to need to go into the files app and from the files app i actually already have it open let's go ahead and close this and start fresh so you'll see you'll most likely be at this menu this is the icloud drive but i'm going to go ahead and go to untitled because that's the name of my sd card and it's actually super hard to find sometimes but i always reformat it so it always is called untitled because i'm shooting on this guy you over there i'm shooting on the a7 III and i hate the way that it handles video files it's not very apparent where the video is so i'm just going to go ahead let's get back in focus and do a search for mp4 if you're shooting on a different system, it might show up differently, but this is the easiest way to find your footage or anything that you're editing. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this down, and I'm gonna select something. So all these files should be playable. So let's go ahead, play this around. What's going on guys, Aegis B here, and I'm back with another video on the iPad Air. So this is the 2019 iPad Air, and the point of this video is, for a lot of you that might be wondering, you might have noticed that the audio sounds great, but it's doing a little bit of stuttering. Now, I don't know if this is just because it's the playback and it's the 4K video, and this is the 2019 iPad Air, so maybe it doesn't have enough power to do it, but the only way to find out is to take this file put it over into my actual local storage and then import that into iMovie. So yes, I'm gonna be using iMovie. The point of this video is just to see if I can use basic software to edit 4K video. So I'm gonna be using iMovie for this video and nothing else. So let's go ahead and import this video into iMovie so I can just do a little bit of cuts. I'm gonna take this file and then I'm gonna long press it, which is what I just did. And I'm gonna move it to on my iPad. And then I'm gonna put it in the iMovie folder and I'm gonna hit copy. So now you'll see that it's copying uh, the item to the iMovie. I'm gonna see how long this takes. So now it has completed its task. I'm gonna go ahead and head into iMovie. Now I have it opened up here in, in iMovie and let's go ahead and see the playback. 
What's going on guys, EGSB here and I'm back with another video on the iPad Air. So this is the 2019 iPad Air and the point of this video is for a lot of you that might be wondering if this guy can actually run 4K footage and so as you can see, it runs pretty smoothly, actually. I don't see any stuttering. I could scrub through the video relatively easy. Um, I'm not seeing any problems here. It's a two minute video, as you can see. So let's go ahead and make some changes to this video, do some cuts and see how well that works. Now, as you can see here, I could trim the video, you know, down to size. What else can I do? I'm gonna open it up again. I could change the speed. So this, it was actually shot in 24 frames per second. Uh, I can make it faster. As you can see, it's a bit faster. And I could add titles. I'm not gonna add any titles. And I could change the volume all the way down. I'm gonna leave the volume how it is. I can also add filters to it. And why you would wanna do that, from iMovie, I have no idea. But instead, I'm going to go ahead and split and make some cuts. So I'm gonna be moving through the video. I'm gonna select this part, split it there. And then I could go ahead and just delete this, can't I? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this clip. So. Air. So this is the 2019 iPad Air, and the point of this video is. I apologize that the sound is actually ridiculous. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to normal. I do normal. Reset. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another cut. Go ahead and make another cut. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna title standard and I'm gonna write in here. This is the 2019 iPad Air and the point of this video don't mind the text, I know it looks a little strange. Is for a lot of you that might be wondering if this guy can actually run 4K footage and, and a lot of you that might be wondering how to import your files over to. Now you could go ahead and zoom in to be able to be more specific with your video if you just go ahead and pinch in the video. So that's pretty standard on most things. Uh, you could add photos. so. I'm gonna leave that, I'm not gonna add any photos. You can also edit over the video. So I cut it down to 152, and then I'm going to make some more cuts because that's really what I'm gonna do. Cut some guys right here, and so here, and so here. I know, I hope I don't get any complaints to say I'm not actually editing, but the point is just to see if it can actually handle the task. Again, this is only a two minute video, but you should be able to see the difference. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut this out. So now that I have it, I'm just gonna go ahead and run my playback again. The 2019 iPad Air, and the point of this video is for a lot of you that might be wondering if this guy can actually- Okay, so now it's done. I'm going to go ahead and hit done, and I wanna export my video. So now my movie is done, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Actually, I'm gonna title this iPad Air Tests. And then I'm going to go ahead and export it. So I'm gonna export it and save it to my camera roll. So I'm gonna save it to videos. I'm gonna save it in 4K. Now let's see how long it takes to export a two minute clip on the 2019 iPad Air. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play it back now. So I'm gonna go to the Photos app, and then now you're gonna see that I have my 4K edited video right here. I'm gonna turn on the sound. The point of this video is for a lot of you that might be wondering if this guy can actually run 4K footage, and, and a lot of you that might be wondering how to appreciate if you could just go ahead and subscribe. I make a lot of content that's focused on, you know, Apple devices and also Android devices, tech stuff, computers, all that stuff. So if you're into that stuff, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. So I'm hoping that that answers your question. Yes, it can edit 4K video. I didn't have a problem. Again, I scrubbed through the playback. I, you know, edited the video. I cut it. I made titles. I didn't do any color grading or anything like that because iMovie is quite basic. It 
just shows you the raw strength of the 2019 iPad Air. And it's really an iPad that you can consider if you're gonna be editing videos, uh, like 4K content and stuff like that. I'd highly recommend getting it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments what you think. If you guys liked the video and if you found it helpful, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead, give it a thumbs down, but just make sure that you subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.